Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. This is autumn. This is four, five months without a drop of rain. Everything is dry. It was very, very hot. We had, I think, more than 20 days of more than 40 degrees Celsius. 40, day, 40 days of 40 degrees Celsius is classified as an arid climate. We don't have that, thank God. But uh, our Mediterranean climate is harsh. Our winters are not that cold, but our summers are hot and dry. There are many things we wonder about. I'm taking a short break from the bigger projects we are busy with. I'm tired, but also I need to take stock of what's happening on the farm. I have neglected many of the plants because I was busy with the water distribution projects. Here we have weirs and we have potential issues with them. If you have a weir and the water flows quite strongly and you create new uh, spouts, you actually increase the speed of the water. So. Uh, Potentially we can create new culverts and this is exactly what we don't want. So in this case it might not be a problem, the water will flow through. But in uh, other instances it might change. The, water, the idea, leaky weir, is to slow down the water, trap the sediment, spread the water to other areas here at least we have an adjacent area where the water can spread over that area so hopefully we will not shoot ourselves in the foot that we are not doing exactly what we try to prevent by accelerating the speed of the water we want to slow it down this is the weir of last year and we have added some more trunks and we would like the water to come this way. Let's hope. Neglecting the plants led to me not knowing what's going on. Uh, many of our berries, they are just dead. Um, some of them will grow again in, when it's cooler now and the rain comes. We saw that last year as well. Even the hawthorn, indigenous plant, is, has dropped some leaves. And uh, this is something we are making peace with slowly, that we have two short growth periods. Reminds me of the Buddhist center we visited in Tibet, where they eat goat's meat, because it's the only food they have. They have six weeks to grow some grasses and hay and things like that, wheat, and uh, then it's too cold, then the season is over. And here we have two short seasons as well. Once we have cracked that code, I think we will prosper on this farm, but until then we have issues. Here this fig was 
and not it dropped all these leaves during the heat and now it's growing gooseberry I don't know it said goodbye another fig is sprouting this is September almost October another two months and then it's too cold so I will have to pay attention to the pH in the soil, the nitrogen levels, the humidity, the clay content level, other minerals, other plants that can prohibit the growth of what we want. Uh, the re the simple answer is I don't know. I have not taken time to find out. I have also realized that we don't have many plants per square meter. Um, just have a look here. Maybe this is a square meter and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, which is not much. Here is a little bit more because we have some sisters in between and then we also have chicory here. It looks like a lot but uh, there are not that many plants. Stress factors like fire, drought, they can increase the number of species or they can decrease the number of species, depends on the severity of the conditions. We are in the fifth year of drought, this is also different species thistle so I will have to take time to learn more but the water projects were important to us and uh, Sunday we have some experts coming over to look at the plants on our land that's a very important step for me ahead to see what we can learn and how to take what we have forward. This Mediterranean climate is the Hesse was cultivated in this way by humans for thousands of years and uh, for two things for the acorns and then also for the grama this uh, root like root weed that gives some green in the very dry season and now I cannot find one here they are So um, this land has produced what it was shaped for and uh, can it survive this new heat conditions? Uh, people, local people say things have changed. How? and for how long we will have to see this is an ancient pigsty and uh, very well built these individuals 
areas for the pig, the mother and the small ones with the entrance there it was much bigger a lot of rocks fell into it uh, for the side for the other side and then the storage area behind it so I would like to just rebuild this wall here put a metal frame on it with some uh, metal gauze and have the birds we have in here we now have two geese two Muscovy ducks six chickens so uh, a project in the waiting it's a beautiful area we live in we love it here we have made peace with lots of things we don't understand we embrace it and we are thankful till next time goodbye